making it through in one wheel drive. Hold on, I got cheated, dude. I got cheated. What is good, Gray Gang? We are out here today in my possession. I have a Kawasaki Mule 610, and today we're gonna be pushing it to its limits, okay? Now, if you guys are a longtime subscriber of the channel, you'll know that I have a lot of history with this thing. I got it whenever I was like 10, and I've literally been driving it up to like a few months ago when it up getting a Can-Am Defender. Now, this thing here, it's an absolute beast, and I'm sure you guys know that. As for the Mule, it's a whole lot smaller, and um, a lot of people hate on it. And it, most of those people who hate on it are the people who's never had one before. I've had one. I know a couple other guys who had one. They're a tank. Yeah, and when we talk about them, we know how much they got, but everyone else just hates on them simply because they can't. So today, hopefully we're gonna change people's minds. Let's give a real quick overview of this thing. Mule 610, I never knew what 610 stood for. Still don't. Maybe it's ho horsepower, but it ain't. It is a four wheel drive machine. It's 401 cc's. I think it's got 12 horsepower, which, which is equivalent to 12 horses. Kind of a lot. Or a lawnmower. That's, that's a lot, if you're Amish. I'm trying to think of some things to say about it, but there's there's really not much. I mean... It's got a snorkel. Yeah, it does. Not many people know about that, but right up here, these pipes are actually like, you know, actual pipes, and the exhaust comes out here. I don't that's know if that it. actually makes it a snorkel, since it's only its exhaust. That's an intake, not an exhaust. I don't know. It pushes out. The exhaust is down there. Right, I think it has two. Yeah, this is exhaust, it pushes out. So it has two, just because it can, I guess. As for the motor, let's take a look at it. That's pretty much all I know about it. But one thing I do know is that out of over 10 years of hard service, there's only one thing we've needed to change on it, and it's that thing right there. Do you know what that's called? Looks like starter solenoid. Yeah, that's what it is. And I mean, it didn't necessarily quit working. You just had to get out and hit it with a hammer and then it'd start up. But we did change that one. So that's literally the only thing we had to change. Let me pull it up on Kawasaki's website and we'll look at what they say about it. All right, it is the yardstick of rugged off-road utility ability. I like that. That's catchy. That's a good That's a good catchphrase. That is. The four-wheel drive Mule 610 4x4 expands upon the foundation of the Mule 600, which I have no idea what is. Off-road capability to haul people and equipment to almost any work site? Dang, son. At the heart of the Mule 610 4x4 is a single-cylinder engine coupled with a continuous variable transmission. That sounds fancy. The model also features a dual mode rear differential independent front differential suspension swing arm frame rear suspension sealed hydraulic br bum brakes. Drum brakes. By golly, I'm about to buy another one. 35 watt headlights. 1.1 million pound tow capacity. Dang. Easily transported in the back of a pickup. We gotta try that one. 100%. Modern four stroke. Is it dual overhead cam or is it single cam? I don't even know what that means. It has a roll cage. Pretty visible. Yeah. This thing's 400 cc's. The Defender's 800, so technically this is half the power of a Defender, cc-wise. I don't know. We're about to find out. I know for a fact the Defender can go pretty much anywhere. And it's top speed. I've got it up to like 65 miles an hour, maybe 70 once down a hill. But as for this thing, that's the first thing we're going to test is mile an hour. Hop on in. Also, we have a helmet and a four-point sling built into this thing because we're going to take it some pretty wicked places. Not to mention the brand new rear tires we put on because before this, we did have racing slicks and on the front we still do have those slick tires but you know what we'll see what happens that's just part of it. let's go ahead and hop on and see what kind of speed we can get it does not have a speedometer but i did download a speedometer map last night speedometer yeah speedometer here we go there we go all right boys here we go you can hold that right now it says we're moving two miles an hour but we ain't. We got reverse, neutral, high gear, low gear, and so far I put 869 hours on this bad boy. What's our speedometer read? Six. All right, not, all right I'm getting into a flat. We're gonna, we're gonna go as quick as we can. All right, here we go. We're picking up speed. What we got? 13. What we got? 15. What we got? 16. Oh, we're 20. 21. Alright, that's all we're gonna get. I about fell out. That's what I'm saying. It's so quick. Let me get another pass.
Did it look good? It looked good. I mean, I was busting, busting. Anyways, top speed of the Mule 610 on the website's 25, but maybe that's with a slight downhill advantage. We only got 21 here, but it can scoop downhill and neutral all right now we're going to take it on down we're going to see if we can get it into the bed of the pickup because you know what listen to this one of the key features of the mule 610 and i've drove this thing a lot okay i have put this thing through the ringer out of all my experiences the best thing is how small it is and how quiet it is it's a one cylinder right Yep. I didn't even know those existed, but it's so quiet and it's so thin you can maneuver this thing anywhere The Defender is pretty big and bulky. You can't go anywhere. It's on almost it. twice as wide as this That's what I'm saying. So this thing having the ability to fit in the back of a truck. That's a game changer That's a big plus for this thing. Let's go see what it can do though. Braden Price doubted this thing from He fitting did! In the back. We was telling Braden Price that this thing could fit in the back of a truck. He said no way. Let's go try it though. I think it can. It should! I think she'll go in there. I mean, it should. No reason not to. No way. What, is it in there? It fits. That's what, I mean, it said it would. Why wouldn't it? I mean, it's close, but I mean. You can definitely strap that on there. It's just up to uh, if your tailgate's in good shape because yeah. if one of your tailgate wires are broke probably wouldn't try it you know what I mean? would not recommend no no but like this is uh this is game changing right here keep in mind this is only a five and three quarter foot bed so if you had like an eight foot bed perfect that's what i was saying this is kind of a short bed compared to bigger trucks i guess but it totally fits and you could ratchet it to where it kind of pulls it up on the bed a little bit more. And I didn't really scooch it too hard up against it, did I? No. Like it's not even... We still have like a couple more inches. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Braden Price said it wouldn't happen. Braden Price is wrong. Indeed. I'm impressed. I am too. Now we need to actually stress test it. Where we take it to places, let's say for a hunting rig, okay? Because I do a lot of hunting. I'm not really a sport rider. If you're trying to sport ride with that... Probably, you probably shouldn't be, but hunting wise, you may be going up steep hills, you may be going on rocky surfaces, you may be going into mud holes. That's what we're going to test today. Because I hunted off this thing for 10 years and never really had that many problems. There was a few places I couldn't get, but today I'm going all in. And if I get stuck, that's okay, because we have the defender to pull me out. What up? Dude, you said we couldn't do it, but we did it. It fits. You, the best I know it fits pretty good. We got about a and about an inch more than we need. Besides yeah. that, did you get a haircut finally. Do what? Did you get a haircut? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got a four-point harness rigged up in this thing, and we're gonna take it till it's limit. Where are y'all going with it? Um, probably the biggest hills and mud holes we can find. Really? We're gonna see what happens. If we die, we will let you know. Why didn't we do that while I was there? I don't know. We because you didn't have any faith in it. You inspired us. Really? I guess so. Well, uh, good luck. Don't sink it and don't flip it. Is it about to rain? No. Ah, okay, we'll be all right. Anyways, now let's move on to some decent little hills. All right, guys, the first test we're doing is down this big old hill. Now, right here, it doesn't look so big, but on down there, you'll see how big it is. This is when I'm actually going to get strapped up and put on the helmet. So, I guess first thing, I can get strapped up. Oh, and the original seat belts on this thing is just a basic strap thing. Like, you'd get on a lot of those scary roller coaster things. And we put this bad boy on it. Just in case I push it a little bit too far. All right, so I'm locked in there. Ain't I? Yep. It ain't go anywhere, dude. All right, here we go. We'll hit the big hill. And then after that, we're going to attempt to come back up it. All right, boys, here we go. All right, to go down the hill, we're going to put it in low, and we're also going to put it in, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and put it in four-wheel drive. It's probably the smart thing to do. Guys, this is actually a pretty steep hill. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a pretty good little rut, like, right here. Oh, there's a rock. There's a rock. <clears throat> oh, crawling down the hill, dude. This is not a, like, pitiful hill, either. This is a pretty solid one. We're just climbing down it. I'm gonna see how slow I can come down this. Easy, dude, easy. Now there are some uh, slicker parts up here where the rocks are kind of pieced out a little bit, but just like this, we're good, dude. Piece of cake, dude. Just Piece crawled cake. down it. Huh? Just crawled down it. Yeah. Dude, that was too easy, too easy. I'm telling you guys, I rode this thing hard for 10 solid years more than that actually it's either 09 or an 08 and i don't remember which one so i rode it hard for either what 10 11 years something like that and i'm talking hard 
I mean hard. We're about to do some trail riding and just show you the agility this thing has that I learned over the years. Absolute mint. It's like an eagle. It just weaves in and out and it'll jump, jump stuff and stuff like that. I'll show you here in a minute. Just look at the pedal. Look how much, look at the paint. The paint is gone. You can see the ratio of how much I use the gas versus how much I use the brake. Very little on the braking, okay? This one's gonna be a little bit rougher because they're this rock. Easy. tires it's like the game has changed dude it's a new animal really yeah easy work it's probably gonna come up this like nothing We're that going was, to have to find some bigger hills. That was too easy. We're going to have to find some bigger hills somewhere. I don't even know where to go. We're going to have to, I know a place. So do you. All right, there is a river trail right here that I want to try. I'm going to do it in high gear and just like two wheel drive. Fun fact about the mule, it's only one wheel drive until you actually lock in differentials. So. And then can it make, oh, can it make it up that? That's gonna be a tough little thing for this thing. Cause it's sand. It's not even mud, it's sand. It's literally just sand. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem right here. Oh, you'll have fun. See that? You better lock your diff in. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked in everything. You think I can go? Full sand. I'm just gonna hit it. You got it. I think I do. Dig, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. No way, dude. Goodness, this thing is a beast. Where can this thing not go? This thing, oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all a little secret, okay? Let me tell you guys a secret. Dude, this thing, this is kind of impressive, isn't it? it I, I'll me. tell you this right now. I'm pretty sure I had the Defender on that exact trail and it didn't make it up it. Like the top part, cause it was too big and it bottomed out. I think it'd make it easy. I don't know, it didn't. Cause look, you have, what What do you call it? The What do you call the length of like from the back axle to the front? Wheelbase. Wheelbase, all right. Look at the wheelbase of this thing versus the wheelbase of this thing. That makes this thing far more susceptible to getting bottomed out, correct? Yeah. Right, and so I did, I tried to do it by that one side with this thing and it just bottomed out and the, none of the tires could get traction, but this thing scooted over it. One thing I don't know about this thing is what the bottom looks like. I don't know if it has a skid plate. I wouldn't imagine. Let's check it out whenever we get home. We'll get it up on something. Okay. But dude, that, that didn't have a problem at all. No. What it looked like from behind. Looked pretty cool. Like you, it actually spun the tires for the first time. Dang. Anyways, back before we got these new tires, it couldn't have done that. And I don't think that's a secret. But like these new tires, like that helps a lot. It's crazy how much new tires will do. Oh yeah. I'm notorious for riding extremely wore out tires on this thing. And it goes everywhere pretty much. And I'm talking way worse than that. Oh, the ones that was on it was like so bald. The back tires, like you couldn't even tell there was tread off on not even on the side like up here you can see there's tread right here there wasn't any tread right here and right here you couldn't tell that there was ever tread i'm not kidding they were smooth as a baby's head yeah i mean it was kind of it was really fun to go out in a field when it was wet and you could just do donuts and you wouldn't hurt the grass at all anyways now i got a pretty good mud hole over there i don't like mud but uh, i'm willing to do what it takes to test this thing out i am doing big things for the honda is this a Honda? This is Kawasaki. Oh. I'm doing big things for the Kawasaki Mule 610 community out there, and I'll, I'll do as much as I can, whatever it takes. We may have to keep this harness on full time. You like it? No. I've not needed it yet, but I'm sure that whenever I do need it, I'll really be happy that I have it. It feels cool, though. It makes you feel cool, yeah. yeah. Who knew helmets could walk off? But before the mud hole, let's see what kind of handling this thing's got. 
one. I tell you, man, I can scoot this thing pretty good. And the center of gravity is so low on this thing because there's just not much material on the whole thing. You can slide pretty good. I've only flipped this thing twice. And once, I almost flipped it, but then I literally jumped off and picked it up and just rolled it back over. Very risky move, but it was kind of a heat of the moment kind of thing. I kind of just did it, and thankfully it worked out in my favor. But uh, yeah, let's see what kind of trail riding this thing's got. She's usually pretty smooth on the trails, not suspension-wise, not at all. I'm talking it can get around places pretty easy because it's so much thinner than the trails itself. Oh, here's a mud hole. Oh, oh. Oh, that's not the mud hole I was talking about, but that's still a good one, I guess. Not really. Oh, yeah, dude. Trail riding? This thing's a beast. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I think that's as far as the trail goes. I'll ride it back up. seeds going my eye right there. Ow. Ah, there's, there's so many. I'm just going to eat them. I'll be all right. It's easier to just eat the seeds than it is to try to get them out of my mouth. It's mud hole time, boys. How good can the Mule 610 do in a mud hole? That's one place I've never took this thing is intentionally in a mud hole. But today, today is that day. He's going to hit this big mud hole right here. What are your predictions? I think it's going to go through it. We don't even know how deep it is. No, but I think it's going to go through it. I mean, if anything, we're going to pull you out. That's true. We do have the defender and I'm going to get really wet. So you got this KG. First time in, I'm just going to take it nice and slow. You're going to go slow. Give us a full send. I... That's what they want to see. You got this. Just back up and just run into it. Four wheel drive or no? Nah. Was that two wheel drive? That's one wheel drive. It's not even locked in. In high gear. Dude, you was all the way up, like the water. Something started purring in the back. You can tell it was deep enough to get the floor wet. Dude, it was deep enough to get the floor wet. And look how high the floor is. I was a solid what? Foot and maybe a half at some point when it, once it got over. Yeah, and it just went right on. Dude, it's one wheel drive. That's the thing. We didn't even use all fours. The number one thing that I, I had speculated would be a problem is whenever it bottomed out on the water. But we got over the floor, so it technically hit the bottom, right? Yeah. And it drug itself out. Dang. Oh my goodness. It looks like soft mud too, and it's still. It was soft mud, because I started sinking right there at that one point. Dang, dude. Oh my gosh, look at the tailpipe. It's all covered in mud. Dude, what is that? That's pretty good. That's very good. I'm impressed. The old tires would have never made it though. No, the old tires couldn't have made it here. No. Old tires may not even made it on this. Like you could just turn it a little and the whole thing would just slide. Yeah. Dude, I'm impressed. I'm not muddy at all. Not a single piece of my body is muddy. I figured you'd at least get some water on you. I'm thoroughly surprised. We're in it quick now. We're in it quick. Ow! Oh my gosh! I do not like this. Mud boy, as you guys can imagine. Oh gosh, I didn't get it. Dude, that's crazy. 
Oh my gosh! That mudding experiment really surprised KG. I, I, I've never took this thing in mud intentionally. I don't even know accidentally if I took it in mud. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of mud. And even after that, still really not. I mean, it's kind of fun. I can kind of see where people like it, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really like having to change socks that often. I mean, I like my socks. I, I don't want to change them every day or every hour, but I do got a decent little hill right up here that we're going to hit. Just to, you know, see how steep can this thing go? Because rocky, we've not got anything super rocky, but we did get some decently steep stuff. We're going to get another pretty decent something right up here. even a couple if I can do this right. Now before we take the mule on its final test to the tallest, steepest mountain we can find, we are gonna do a little bit of the verse of the week. Now this one's coming out of Matthew 5 21. And this is in red letters, which means it's Jesus talking, so pay attention. Whoever murders will be liable to judgment. Okay, okay, sounds pretty normal, right? But then the next verse says, but I say to you that everyone who is angry to his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council. Now, I'm pretty sure we can all agree on one thing, and that is murdering is not good, okay? It's like not even kinda good. It's just bad. But what Jesus is saying right here is that getting angry and slinging insults is honestly just as bad in his eyes. Because at the end of the day, murdering, insulting, and just overall getting angry, all three goes against what God is. And that is love. So let me just, uh, let me just give you all a challenge, okay? Next time you're about to get mad at somebody, try your best to not get mad. Just so you don't turn around and do one of these right here and count to ten. And if you're still mad, Count to 10 again. Let's go climb the mountain, son. So far, the mule has impressed me a lot. And I do want to ask you guys right now to please go down in the comments and tell me, has the mule impressed you or not? But yeah, for real, let's go to the hill. Piece of cake. May hit a dead spot right here. Ooh. This thing's a beast. And every, every single person that says a Mule 610 makes fun of it. But this video will show a Mule 610 is not something to make fun about, except for speed. That's one thing it does not have and probably never will, even if you hook up nitrous to it. But a Mule 610 is not something to make fun of. No hands, dude. Ow, literally no hands. What do we even think about this? Uh, that's a pretty good little hill. That's a decent hill. What is that, like 180 degrees or something? It's probably a 70 degree hill. It shouldn't have went up that, but it did. While we got it on a high spot right here, let's go ahead and check out what's underneath. <sighs> um, honestly, there's not much protection under here, but there's not much to mess up under here. Nope. There's just like not much stuff. Because the gas tank, I don't, I don't actually know where the gas tank right here. is. The gas tank sits on top. Oh, so that's like, it's pretty protected underneath. Because there's just nothing underneath to protect. I'm impressed. We're not done either. I thought that was going to be like maybe the hill that it just couldn't get traction. But guys, we're not done. We're not going to stop until it fails. We're not done testing it. But let's take a real quick pause right here and say, if you want to support the channel, number one way you can do is to subscribe to the channel if not already. And then hit the like button. Because if we can get 25,000 likes, oh, what should we do with the mule? Tug of war against the defender? No, nah, that's not fair. I think we could build it up a little bit more. Put a lift on it. Put a lift on it. Big old meaty tires. Turbo. We could get it wrapped or something like that. Hey, yes. Huh? Yeah, 25,000, you get it wrapped. 25,000, we're gonna jack this thing up, put monster truck tires on it and get it wrapped in kg camo and also comment below what else we should do to it because that's not all we're going to do if we can get 25 light bar definitely a light bar maybe a winch but so far this thing don't need a winch put the light bar on top like a full light bar going all the way across we can put we can get a light bar that's twice the width of it let it just <laughs> hang out two feet on each side it looks like an airplane this thing's a beast if they do 30,000 i'll rig up a disco ball in the back 
I, I'd, I'd like to see that. Oh, son has proved us wrong. While we're sitting here thinking of somewhere else where we might be able to take this and test it out, roll the epic Mule 610 montage. Did I get any air time at all? No. Okay, so maybe the mule's not that great at speed or jumps, but everything else, we've not seen any problems with at all. That's true. I'm surprised, dude. I'm surprised. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see it. Show them what we're going up. That ain't, this, too, that ain't too small. Look at this rut. I know. That rut is the only thing I'm worried about. You think you can do it? I think I can. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no, what did the parking brake was on? The parking brake was on. Now I'm stuck. Hold on, I got cheated, dude. I got cheated. I got cheated? You know why it did that? Why? I forgot to turn the parking brake off. Really? Otherwise, I would've went right up it. Well, come back down and do it again. I think I will. All right. I almost got out of it too, but then it's just bottomed out, which makes sense. Yeah. I can definitely get that. Hit it. The parking brake the first time threw me over. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and you like this kind of content and don't forget 25,000 likes and we're going to take that mule and we're going to hype that thing up to where, honestly, it may not be able to compete with the Defender, but it is indeed going to look just as good. It's going to have a disco ball in the back if we get 30K. Think about that for a minute. We're going to have a disco ball. Click right over here if you want to see the time where I took my grandma, Mammy, in the Defender, or right over here for all my Moto Vlog top videos.